My brother loved to make clay sculptures and often refused to make them for me. When I was eight, I pleaded with him to make me a sloth. He did it, and it's probably one of the oldest things I still hold on to. I wouldn't let it go. I would take this sloth everywhere with me. I named him Slothy. Original, right? I promised to keep him with me at all times, and my brother found pride in that. I had just been dropped off for school by my brother, Atlas. He was on his way to work, so I got to school a little early so he could get there on time. He worked at a small local grocery store a few minutes from the high school, and I often walked there from our house to get groceries for our sick mother and busy father. My dad owns a company, or at least he's trying to. He doesn't pay attention to my sick mom. He really just pays the hospital bills because it would look bad if he didn't. I walked into school like it was any other day, and I waited for Emily, my best friend. We always walked the first period together. She went to Spanish, and I went to algebra. It was our third period, history, where we normally watch the news. Today was all about Paradox, the vigil ante of the city. He helped out the police a lot even though the police were investigating him. They say he hadn't been spotted in days. Anyways, my teacher asked me to step out of the room for a second. This doesn't usually happen. When I walked outside, I saw both my parents. My father was looking at his phone, and my mother was crying. Mom? <laughs> What's going on? It's, it's your brother. Those words sent my world flying. They said he died in a car accident on his way to work, but they never recovered a body because the car was driven right off the bridge that connects our city to the larger surrounding cities. There was a lot of crying, my mom especially. I don't think I ever saw my father even tear up once. It took a long time to get past it. I kept Slothy very close. Emily and I grew distant as we went off to local college. I met a boy, Jacob, who cheated on me with another girl. That relationship didn't last long. Sophomore year of college came around and my roommate, Lena, and I grew close. I walked in one day, about one fourth of the way through the school year, and she said, You have a package down at the lobby. They called and said I had been there for a while, and they're tired of holding on to it. That's odd. I've never gotten any packages since my mother passed. You look, um, disturbed in this photo. Wow, thanks. I blinked and they refused to take it again. Do you have my package? Thanks. I never opened the package. It's been weeks. Hey! My parents can barely afford for me to go to college, let alone another phone. Dang it! <gasps> Holy crap! Here is where my story starts.